Sculpting using tool symmetry. Tool symmetry allows us to sculpt on one side of the model and it will affect the vertices on the opposite side of the model. So here I have sculpting on. I come over into my uh, properties palettes. I'm going to turn the mirroring on. And I've turned it on to the X. Okay, so we got X, Y, and Z. And I also have local X, Y, and Z. And local is for the object. Okay, so this is for the global world coordinate system. This is for a particular object. So right now I only have one object, and I'll go with the with the X on. So that means when I come in here and I want to um, come in here and say I'm going to just do some sculpting here. Okay. Now when I rotate you see that it mirrored to the other side, okay? So you see that it is mirrored exactly to the other side. So we have the ability then to, to turn on some sort of mirroring, the front or back, um, to uh, its Y position, its X position, its Y position, <clears throat> Z position. And the locals are just for the objects. So if we had two or three different objects in it, we could have a local to each object. And so we can turn the sculpting off. And so at this point then, if I want to come in and, and sculpt on here, you can see that it does not go to the other side. So this allows us a lot of... Uh, uh, faster sculpting because a lot of things will be mirrored so when we're sculpting a person the left side is usually equal to the right not exactly if I'm sculpting the biceps I will model the biceps equally with with the mirroring on and I might go in and make the right bicep just a smidgen bigger if the person's right-handed for example but it's a good way to start off and allows us to have some more efficient ways of sculpting using this tool symmetry.